welcome to my house. You can have a seat. Let me begin by thanking you for, for, for coming to my house and then conducting this interview, I mean taking part in this project. My name is Bakari B. Kante, I am 29 and I am from the Gambia, West Africa. I have been in Malta for the past eight years. Next month on the 8th will be my exact eight years in Malta. I'm working as an assistant aircraft technician. Uh, I, I work with, a, with an SR Technics, a company that works on maintenance, maintenance in aircrafts. And I really love the job and I, I hope to, to improve more, to learn more, to become the best of the ingenious engineers that I can. This is the first village that uh, I have lived in and I've never lived in any other village or any other town other than Halasha. I sometimes call myself Ash E, that means people from Halasha. I make fun of I mean, other people and some people ask me where are you from? I said in short, I say I'm from I'm, an, I'm from Halasha, I'm an Ash E. I really fell in love with the with, with the village, the very old village, with very nice people, nice neighborhood. And uh, the people here are very lovely. I never have an, I have an issue with either a neighbor or a landlord. It is, uh, initially, it will, be st it will be challenging for everybody. I mean, coming from a different, different country, different background, different, different society, with different norms and traditions, obviously it will be, diff it will be it will be different because from my colleagues I met to learn, my previous colleague I met to learn from them some of the things you know about Malta, some of their ideas, um, beliefs because during break time or during rest hours we do have this conversation you know they will be, they will be interested questioning me about how is it in, in your country, Africa, and I will explain to them. And in, in return, I will also ask them these questions. I've seen this and it's strange for me, coming from a different background, different culture. This is strange for me, then they will explain. Yeah, and then I got used to, and then you got used to some of the things that eventually came my way. My brothers and sisters who really struggling to integrate, to find them, to, to stand on their feet. It's, it's never been an easy road for anybody. Coming from a different country, different religion, different race, different ethnicity, different beliefs, different mentalities, different culture. It is, uh, it is not an easy thing to integrate in a, in, in a country where your values, traditions is completely different. But then it takes you, it takes once and it takes an effort. It takes the willingness. It takes the belief. It takes yourself having the, having the belief in yourself that yes, I need to adjust and adapt to the system that I found in place. Like I initially told you, if you go to room, you do as the Romans do. For example, when I came in here, I, I realized in order to adjust to the system, I need to, I need to accept some of the things that, that society really appreciates, so that society is in for. For example, making less, less noise. When I moved into Halasha, I realized Halasha is a very quiet place, less noise. Then even if I, I was a noisy guy, I, would have, I should have changed to become a bit less noisy. If I play music or anything, I have to shut down my windows to contain the noise. Do you understand? What I like most about, is about this festival is this, this carnivals, they are quite interesting. I remember back in, was it 2017 or 18, when I attended that of Hamroon, I was blown off. I mean, I was so intrigued. And then I began, I began to develop an interest in this um, uh, first, festus. Uh, they were really, really nice. I mean, they have, they, they, uh, there's a huge light turnout. Especially that of Halasha. Is, I mean, the people come out in their large numbers, fireworks, I mean, it's almost a week, you'll hear, you'll be in the house, you'll hear the bum sound like, it's like a bum, 
outside and you will see the, the fireworks with very very nice colors on the sky very interesting these are things that i really love i will stay on my i will stay in my balcony looking at the fireworks and then having my ear, ear my earpiece i mean listening to music or i mean looking at the fireworks uh, in the sky quite interesting it's quite very interesting you know I will, I will, I will forever remain grateful to Malta and her people. This is a country that gave me a second opportunity of life. I remember very well June 8 in that rough sea when the AFM team came, the AFM, the AFM came to rescue us. If 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 they were not there at the right time, we could have not been here today conducting this interview. So each time that memory comes to mind, I I always feel grateful, I always feel that okay, I owe this country, I owe this country depth of gratitude. And then I came in here, I settled down, gradually settled down, uh, found, I found work, I found very good colleagues, both previous colleagues and current colleagues, employers who were very supportive and helpful and then uh, who were really really ready to support and then help me out in every situation i am in in every need that i am you know in so which is very very good of, uh, of the people and the society and i forever remain grateful to modern our people